Hey there, Taurus, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your April 2021 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. So, um, we are going to be taking a look um, this month a bit differently. I'm using a different spread for this month. So, basically, this is going to be checking in the present moment, what you're feeling right now, what situation you are in, what are the influences that might be affecting you uh, at the present moment, and how this is going to be flowing out in the near future, and the overall outcome of the month of April 2021 when it comes to your personal life, love life, um, and relationship as a whole. So this is going to be um, diving in into the influences and energy that might be happening, affecting, and transpiring for us for the month of April 2021. I do have some cards over here to give us some form of confirmation of the reading and some form of insights of the energy flow that might be um, coming in within the month. Also, I am using my um, my twin flame notes over here to give us, you know, some love notes and messages that what we might need to know as well and then additional information over here so um yeah uh without any further ado let's just get started with the reading and um please do know that this is a general reading so it may or may not tune in necessarily for each and every taurus people out there so just keep that in mind so we have here the king of swords the page of swords and the three of cups this is really more of a situation we're in um you could be at a period of time we're in, things are really more contemplative, like maybe um, there are a lot of things that you are considering or, you know, um, a lot of things that you are unsure during this time. Um, there could also be some form of blockages and some form of um, distance that is going on in terms of your personal life and relationships, so, you know. This could also be a period of time wherein you're feeling unsure about someone or a set of friends that you have. You know, you don't know if you should trust them. Or there are could there there just could be some form of relationship issues going on right there, you know, wherein it makes you feel doubtful with certain things. So we are sensing some form of doubting energy um with um the present situation for a lot of you guys Taurus but at the same time this is about you also wishing for things to get better wishing to have a more harmonious relationship you know it's like it's that period where in you are hoping for some form of fun and excitement and what you got is something that is you know making you feel unsettled so it can be that situation that can be very frustrating wherein you, you feel like you wanted to do something but at the same time you are having some form of trust issues should i risk the situation or should i not you know and i kind of feel that this could also be a situation wherein you are a you are being forced to um it doesn't mean that you you want to think about certain things but i kind of feel that it is forcing you to to really reflect um your love life, your relationship, and how you view someone. Should you trust that person? Should you not? You know, what type of people are they? Should I really be with them? Um, is this relationship worth it? So there's a lot of questions that could be in your mind during this time. And um, we do see that there is going to be some form of new beginnings um, that will be transpiring for you. We have to hear the Empress, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. Now, since we have this energy of the Seven of Cups, I would assume that there is also an energy that makes you feel confused. Like, um, this could also be a situation where in, there's a lot of thoughts in your mind that might be, you know... Um, it's like that point where in you're trying to make a decision over two things and you're you're 
you're being overwhelmed with whatever information that flows and comes to you right now and uh, this could be a situation as well wherein you're having a lot of options or um you're being lost in thoughts you know and um it can be a, a situation wherein you know it can be confusing it can be overwhelming all those kinds of things it could also be a situation wherein you are you have the urge of wanting a lot of things all at the same time so it gives me that that energy wherein you might need to slow down you might need to really think about carefully on what it is that you want to bring into your life what it is that you want to happen in terms of your love life in terms of your relationship if this is even a relationship that we are talking about or if it is something just personal to you or something to do with your career this can also be a period of time wherein you need to work on situations to remove what it is that is confusing you so if there are any form of uncertainties in the relationship if there are things that you you are confused about um, some form of um, mysteries that you want to to figure out this could be the time wherein you might take action on trying to resolve problems into your life into your relationship this could be a, a situation wherein you know you um, working things out with someone there's some form of working together as a theme here you know or if there are any form of confusion and misunderstandings this is going to be the time wherein you would want to um to make things right or to correct any form of miscommunication or you know whatever it is some form of uh, trustful issues that has come into the relationship you would want to correct them uh, so this is going to be the time for that so it's not really a time of stagnancy um, i would say that you know we you entered the situation um during um the first few maybe days or weeks or week i would say of april wherein you are feeling confused you're feeling unsettled and then you are slowly going into a situation wherein you are wanting to confront someone to clear out the mysteries to clear out what it is that is confusing you you know it's like you know it's like that moment wherein you're trying to to check in what is fact and what is um fantasy you know the real things what are the real information here and what are the falsehood of the situation and you would want to find out the truth you would want to understand things in a way that is not misleading so overall we are seeing here that we have here the nine of wands the hierophant and the two of cups so this is a really good energy because it makes me feel that you know something is finally coming in and something is being corrected you know some form of understandings and maybe reconciliation with your partner um or a specific person in in your life or in your relationship might be coming into the forefront of things and this is really really good because i would say that this is more of a situation wherein there are problems in a relationship there are uncertainties in the relationship there's a lot of confusion in the relationship where something is basically not working out in the relationship and you are going to be in the process of working things out um, maybe it will have some form of confrontation you know but um, you are going to eventually find out the truth you know there's going to be some form of clarity and unity i would say and this a lot of discussions i would say as well so it is a very positive time so yeah um i would say that um like it is that moment wherein you are trying to talk to someone and they are actually responding to you rather than you being one-sided on certain things so if you have a situation in the past wherein you're trying to you're trying to negotiate something with a particular person in the past and they either ignore you or they're not willing to negotiate 
um, this could be a period of time wherein you are going to see that they are going to be more willing they are going to be more willing to be direct with you they are going to be more willing to to um to give you some form of answers conclusions and understanding in the relationship and with the hierophant and the two of cups here it makes me feel that you know if there are any issues and problems in the relationship this is giving us a signal that it will be resolved and it will work out and again we have here the opportunity opens initiating action and the harmonious situation so this basically this combination basically is telling us that an opportunity is definitely going to be arriving to, to you some form of initiation is definitely going to come to the forefront of things but this is not just about taking action and and expecting some form of progress a movement into your life into your relationship but um, this actually has the harmonious situation card, which gives us a feeling we're in, you know, um, finally some form of problems getting solved and some form of harmonious energy going to be flowing into your love life, flowing into a relationship. So, so if you have a lot of experience of misunderstanding, some form of upset, or if there are any gossips, that are causing you some form of grief, some form of anxiety into your relationship, this is going to be a time wherein you guys will be able to share more information, you know. But I heard this, you know, someone told me that this is what you said towards me. You know, th there's going to be, you know, more um, the barriers that you and the other person have, you know, if there are any walls between the two of you, that is going to be lowered during this time. And um, information is basically going to flow a lot more easier. And once information flows easier, it's easier to patch things up as well, leading to some form of harmonious venture as well. Interestingly enough, we have here the Twin Flame note and we have here the I want to reach out card. You are still the one and divine female. So this is basically like, um, I don't really even need to explain this. This is like self-explanatory. This is like a moment wherein, you know, someone is a lot more willing to to talk things out some form of conversations is going to flow out some form of messages are going to come in and maybe they have been stubborn with quite a few things or maybe they have a lot of ill thoughts towards you in the past and then they will this is really more of a realization that uh, screw it <laughs> that form of energy we're in you know um basically if there are any angers any so any form of bitterness you have with a particular person or situation this is going to be a situation wherein things are finally slowing down and some form of healing is basically taking place like you come to a realization that okay this person does not mean me any harm and this this person is still the one that i want to be in to be with basically i love this person you know and this could also be a situation wherein maybe if you haven't been getting any form of messages contact with a particular person especially you know if you're a female this could be you, you know your divine male if you're in a twin flame scenario basically wherein they are wanting to actually reach out to you during this time so there is a huge um a huge sign here from the universe that is telling us that there is going to be some form of discussions conversations opening up the heart chakra you know um, being more open to communicating being more open in expressing ourselves expressing what we feel especially with when it comes to a man towards a woman so also we have here the I will take action card. So this is, you know, we can actually see that something is actually happening. Something is manifesting. And you will know basically that, um, not Libra, but April is going to be a month filled with actions. And you are going to sense that, you know, 
it's as if everything is going to be in a green light especially if you are uh, you are you are in a situation wherein you feel time has stopped you know you feel that nothing is ever happening in your life you are going to see some form of shift this month of april 2021 and that's really a good news and another interesting note that i have over here with you is i have this uh three cards um additional information and and um I just want to let you guys know that uh, some of this information is basically just a confirmation on the reading that you have over here and I'm just expanding into that so just so you guys are aware and we have here the bad health card the mature man and the official person so this is not going to be a very literal uh, kind of reading of course this can actually pertain to health as well so if you are sick right now this could be a period of time wherein things are finally going better maybe you are going to be a lot more healthier and you are going to find yourself more energetic all at the same time because this free combination is basically telling us that um this is a period of time that you are going to experience something about is some form of situation that is really not working out when you have the bad health card it actually pertains to a situation that is causing you some form of sickness some form of ill situation you know so when it comes to a relationship this could be a situation wherein you're wanting to revive a relationship and things are just not working out or there could be a situation that that is just basically in a form of sickness you know this situation i, I cannot really solve this um, situation any longer so it gives that energy of a bad health kind of a, a feeling and when we have here the uh, official person over here and the mature man it makes it makes a an energy or it gives a feeling wherein okay it's time for the doctor to come in and visit you <laughs> so i hope you guys are seeing the correlation into this it makes you feel that you know okay finally we are now be able to fix the situation something that you are not really able to handle in the past it is going to be solved it's going to be resolved or maybe you are going to be receiving some form of medicine or some form of vaccine who knows right <laughs> and some form of healing into a certain situation again it could be literally or it could be pertaining to your personal lives and situation as well so just keep that in mind this can also be a situation we're in um it also gives us some form of notice that we might need to be more careful and more alert when it comes to our health so um yeah uh but overall and in a nutshell i kind of feel that this is going to be a month wherein we are going to try to resolve things you know a lot of problem solving energy and finally like everything is really flowing everything is happening in a very harmonious ways and we will be able to take action to remove any confusion and uncertainty that we might be having in our life and i would say that for a lot of taurus people this can be a, a huge signal for a new beginning like finally you might tell yourself that 2021 has started for quite a while now but i kind of feel that my year has just started so that is the energy that we are actually seeing over here for a lot of taurus people so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me that is my reading for you guys and um by the way i did created a new um a facebook group if you are interested in learning more about readings hearing my other horoscopes and predictions and i also teach astrology lessons for free on that group and if you're interested with that you can um just search my name um astrology and readings by chrissy a facebook group or um you can just scroll down the description below this video i'm going to put the link down below so you guys can join in with me 
Um, so yeah, and if you do want a more personal reading specifically done for you and your own situation, um, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the starswhitecrazy.com and I shall see you guys again next time. Please do know that um, your help and support to my channel is something that I really appreciate, Taurus. And um, if things that i've mentioned here on the video is something that has resonated with you and if maybe it happened to you um during the month of april 2021 please do let me know i'm very interested to to actually see and know how this actually connected with you and your experiences um in relation with this reading as well so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and i shall see you guys again next month bye